everyone and welcome back to Dream Daddy. We are going off to baseball with Craig. I have a light coming in from behind me, which is weird because there's storm, but that's fine. Um, Alright, Amanda and I make the short drive out to the local softball field. For a kid's softball game, it's pretty fat. Packed. Why did I... We clamber up the bleachers and take our seats on the top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. Aww. So when do the kids start crying and running off the field? You know that your relationship with softball is different from everyone else's relationship with softball, right? <laughs> okay, but if I don't see some kids cry, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Huh. For nostalgia purposes, of course. Not because I take joy out of children fighting for my amusement. Huh. Definitely not that. Sure, okay, man. The game starts and the kids run out onto the field. I see Craig by the dugout with a clip. He's river strapped to his chest as per usual. There's a guy in a pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field. I guess that's the mascot. Pancake mascot? Awesome. <sighs> Bringing the kids' brightly coloured jerseys, I see that it's the Maple Bay Flapjacks. Maple! Against the Pinewood Ocelots. Go flapjacks? I don't know. Choke up on the bat, Miranda. <laughs> yeah, Miranda, square up! How much do you know about softball? Enough to know that the balls are relatively hard despite their name. True. Mm -hmm. But yelling is fun. Yeah. Give it a shot. It's cathartic. Keep your eye on the ball. What's important is you're having fun. What are you willing to sacrifice to win? Um, we're going to go with a very dad response. Go friendship and kindness! Uh. Dad, could you kick it up a notch? Maybe throw some spice on that papaya? Sure thing, honey. I believe in you, Miranda! We watch a couple of innings of softball. They aren't, <coughs> they aren't ready for the major leagues yet, but Craig's trained his team pretty well. It seems like he's really good with kids. Aww. Kickstand. Craig is good with children. Whoa. <laughs> Interesting to see how your friends change over time. It's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and how no one has run off on the f off of the field crying yet. Amanda, dear, you have to let it go. Mm -hmm. Let what go? I'm perfectly fine. The opposite, uh, opposing team is up to bat. They hit a fly ball out into the center of the field. Um, the tiny little girl tries to get it under the ball, but it misses her glove and hits her straight in the forehead. Oh. What? See? It's a completely justifiable fear! girl plops down on the grass and starts crying. Craig made a beeline to her, checking her forehead and comforting her until her parents arrive. He carries her off the field as she sobs. Aww. Man, it's strange to think about how this was the guy who once backflipped off of a roof and on into a pool while shotgunning a bear. He's so responsible now. This isn't going to work if you keep thinking he's the same guy. The game resumes after the girl calms down a bit and we watch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. The ocelots seem to have given up by this point. I see one outfielder eating fistfuls of grass. What the heck? Just eating grass. <laughs> a batter on the team. Hey, batter, batter, hey, batter. Ba Sorry. A batter on the team knocks a foul ball onto the stands. I follow the trajectory and that was baseball anyway. Oh no, it's coming right for me. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I close my eyes and brace for impact. Is Craig gonna open my eyes and look over to see Amanda holding the softball, staring at it in amazement? Ah! I caught the ball. You saved mm. me. I caught the ball, Dad. I caught the ball. You did it, Amanda. I faced my fears. I defeated the softball. I can do anything. <laughs> Amanda and I share a big hug. It's a tender moment that I don't think anyone else watching really understood. I'm proud of you, kiddo. The game ends and Craig's team are declared the victors. We sit patiently as the girls line up to hmm. shake hands. Great job, everyone! We walk over to the dugout to congratulate Craig, who's talking with some of the parents. Craig, great work, oh. man. Thanks. We've been working hard all season and it's great to see it paying off. I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Briar and Hazel? Hello! Oh, look at them. Hey, killer playing out there. Mm. Yeah, you guys rule. Thank you. You guys are twins, huh? So 
which one of you is the evil one? Hazel. <laughs> yeah, it's me. <laughs> huh? Good looking out. Ah. Do you guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a toy, but I think I did. If if I did, I'd be doing that constantly. Yeah, I take all her maths tests, and I usually throw rocks at stuff, and when people get mad, I tell them I'm Briar. <laughs> oh, rude. What? Hmm? We will talk about this later. <laughs> hmm. Jury, bro. I just got a couple more things to clean up, then we can hang. Sounds good. Just then, one of the mums jumps into the conversation. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I can. Nonsense. The girls won. What sort of celebration could we have without our fearless leader? She lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him goo-goo eyes. Man, this mum is laying it on thick. Well, wow. Amanda and I share a look. Oh. All right, all right. Is it cool if my bro comes along? The mum looks slightly put out but covers it up with a smile. Of course. Oh, mm. Where are we going? Thirsty's Pizza? What? Mm. What? It's a real place. <laughs> An endless stream of girls clad in softball gear pile out of a minivan and into a local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Amanda and I trail behind them with Craig. <coughs> Reminds me of all the awful pizza we put back put into our bodies back in the day. Remember how we used to just fold whole whole pies in half and then put taco fillings inside? Do you call pizza pie in America? Because it's really weird to me. Uh, pizzacos. I could never forget. Oh my gosh. How did we survive college? Hmm. Our bodies were younger back then. More elastic. More able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. Wow. Bleak. The good old days. The kids run around playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Amanda and I jump on a couple of slices of meat. Oh. Hey, get, uh, hey, give me a pizza there. Hey! No! Absolutely not! Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. Thanks for addressing the issue, man. Huh? Dad! A different mum walks up to us talking to Craig as if we weren't even there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day about how free hmm. you are. This is not going to be a good relationship. Maybe we shouldn't pursue Craig. Oh, I'm happy to look after them. Definitely helps that I have kids of my own. It's been so hard since Daniel left. I'm glad to know that my children have a strong male role model in their lives. Oh my god. Amanda and I look at each other. Again, Craig gets it from all angles. Huh? Craig smiles. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump from the mum and what I think is a manoeuvre to lighten the conversation. <laughs> he looks super uncomfortable. I should throw him a bone here. Greg is a tag team with Amanda Smokescreen. Well, I, th I think it would be fun. I give Amanda another knowing look and she hits me back with a nod. She understands. Amanda puts her hand to her so I look some knees. Mm. Dad, I don't feel so good. I think I ate too much pizza. Oh no, sweetie, you're not going to to a vomit everywhere, uh. right? Yeah, I think I'm going to projectile vomit everywhere right now. The words projectile vomit and right now you usually seem to get everyone to clear out, but Martha's <laughs> not budging. Back it up, Martha, you're in the splash zone. I drank a lot of orange juice this morning and it's feeling pretty acidic. You'll be fine. Oh man, and her face is just like... Martha's like this. You'll be fine. Amanda shoots me a worried look. This con is going so I should have known that a mum of all people would know the fake uh. scam. Ah, uh, well, I guess I went away and I find now nothing's wrong. She turns her back on me to talk to Craig. So I'm taking Hazel and Briar tonight for the sleepover? Uh -huh. Yep, they're pretty excited about it. You'll keep them out of trouble, right? Oh my god. Oh, of course, but I could always use the help watching after everyone tonight if you're not doing anything. Wow, this lady is really going. Bro! Uh, it'll actually be nice to have a night to myself in River, but thanks for the invite. <laughs> oh. Uh, Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza into a coin slot. <laughs> Martha angrily turns his attention towards her daughter. Oh my god, Martha, get a clue. Tiffany, not another arcade machine! I swear if we have to buy it!
say it. What the heck? Martha stalls off towards her kid. She seems nice. Oh. Yeah, the team is one big weird family. Takes all sorts, right? I mean, Tiffany, don't eat the tokens! Oh my god. Oh. Tiffany's a stellar hitter. Phew, I finally think I have time to talk to Craig now. Man, you're a busy guy, huh? Hmm. Only on days like today, I hope. Dad! Hmm? Hey, girls. Dad, can you help us beat our record on DDR? Oh my gosh. We told Ariana's dad that you could destroy him on the dance net. Please help. Hi. Girls, you know I don't have my jukes anymore. But, Dad! Craig looks at me like a hurt oh. boy. Sorry, dudes. Judy calls. I promise we'll catch up in a bit. This is not... This is not going well. It's all good, buddy. Craig runs off with his daughters and I'm left alone with mine. Man, I was really hoping to cra hang out with Craig more today, but it seems like he's getting dragged in every direction. Definitely wasn't like this in college. I feel like we might be a third wheel ah. here. Yeah. There's worse places than an arcade to be left to your own devices. You're right. You want to drop some coin on pin? Ah. You know it. Amanda and I pull up to a machine that's feeling pretty hot and get to work. I'm a little rusty, but the pinball wizard within me will never die. What? I pull out a decent score and then challenge Amanda to top mine. And immediately she gets multiple. Looks like she takes after her father. <laughs> You're pretty good. Ugh. Don't patronise me. Hey, just trying to pay a compliment. Amanda shushes me. She's in her zen zone. She fights valiantly, racking up points by the million. She's this close to beating my score, but I feel honoured just being able to watch. You're friends with Craig, right? Janet from earlier wo walks up and leads on the pinball machine. Uh, yeah, we went to college. Um. Please don't lean on my thing. Huh? That's so interesting. So do you know if he's, like, available? Oh my god, shut up, Janet. I honestly don't know if I could mm -hmm. say. Seriously, you're gonna make it tilt. Because it's just, it seems like so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it would be great if hmm. Lady, I swear to God. All of a sudden, a buzzer sounds off and the game is on. Over Janet made the pinball machine tilt. Ah! You stone harpy. What? What? Ugh. I said, I have to go over there now and put pizza in my mouth so I don't see anything that'll hurt your feelings. Amanda. Hey! Bro! What's going on? Huh? Now's our chance. If we don't get out of here now, we're stuck for the rest of the night. I wrangle Amanda and say some quick goodbyes with Craig. We head out of the pizza place, finally. Amanda promises that she'll keep the couch warm for me and heads home. Okay. It's going to be different. Alright. Alright. Hope you don't mind me bringing you back here, bro. But not at all, dude. It's good to finally get you all to myself for a second. Well, I'm, and the baby. River burps. Well, almost all to myself. <laughs> Hold up. Craig walks over to the trunk of his car and pulls out two gloves and a sword. Oh. Up for some catch? What? This might be less catch and more you throwing the ball and me running after it, but sure. <laughs> we stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and start tossing the ball back and forth. I'm just gonna... That work. There we go. Just screenshotting. Um, hmm. I have a cooler in my car that we could grab, but there's only juice boxes in there. Man, fatherhood is strange. Mm -hmm. You're telling me. I can't believe it. I'm looking back on my kickstand Craig days and reminiscing about it. Those were some good times. I don't know anyone else who could pull off the rear horizontal kickstand. Oh. It was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. I haven't properly hung it up. The ball, right. I haven't properly hung out with Craig in so long, I don't even know where to begin. Ask about Cotchy softball, ask about the business, ask about, ask about this business. So, you run a business? Nice! Now? Yep, we sell fitness gear, imports and exports mostly, we're but we're coming up with our own layer of athleisure wear soon. What? I nod. I mostly use my sweatpants for washing TV and not, you know, sweating. Sounds like I'd make it. Mm. If you ever need athletic gear, I've got your back. You can sponsor me. I'll rip your athletic short, uh, athleisure wear brand while I mow my mm. lawn. That is the glamorous lifestyle we're catering to. Yes. <laughs> um, ask about the kids. I can't believe you're a father. Oh. Neither can I. You know me. I'm an indecisive person. 
You switched your major four times. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life, but raising kids. When Brian Hazel were born, it all finally made sense. Oh, it was like all the time I'd spent trying to figure things out led to them. Oh. I couldn't be happier about it. I don't think I've ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. Oh. I had the exact same feeling with the man who was born. It was the best thing to ever happen to me. It could be the only thing that ever happened to me and I would still be proud of the life I lived. Oh. Um, and so was softball coach the life you wanted or was it the life that was thrust? Oh. <laughs> I'll admit that I was hesitant at first. Brian and Hazel had so much energy that we just had to get them into sports. But Noah was there to run the team. Oh man. The more I did it, the more I saw how much it meant to all the girls. I'm worried they'd be all riot if I quit. I would also be afraid of a bunch of tiny children with metal bats. Yes. I... They're quick and they work as a team. I've trained them too well. They'll take you down like a pack of velociraptors on a T-Rex. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's nice out here. Quiet. Must be good to get away from the softball mums for a I don't know. Christ, Janet. Yeah, that was... A lot. Are they always like that? Hmm. Actually, this wasn't nearly as bad. Oh my gosh. Yikes. Uh, I'm just so not interested. Well, what are you interested in? I... Hmm. Peace and quiet. That hot, hot silence. Hey! <laughs> my ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. Uh -huh. hmm. But more seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's no time. Oh. And I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a stranger to my girl's lives. They've already been through so much. I can't put them through that. Buddy, I hear mm -hmm. So the mums can hit on me all they want. But the girls are my top priority. Do a great job. This kid's love you. And to add to that, the whole team loves you. I think you got this dad thing down. Oh. Right. Nice. Thanks, bro. Hmm. It means a lot coming from you. Well, I'm distracted. I miss a softball and it hits me right on the head. Well, that hurts. <laughs> You're no kidding. Amanda was right all along. Sorry, dude. Craig runs over to me. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, let me do the dad thing for a second. Craig spends a moment examining my head. Oh. It's worse than I thought. Don't tell me you have to kiss it to make it better. Bro. You would be so lucky. Well, look at from his face. He's just like, he's just like, uh, don't you hit on my dad. Um, anyway, that was fun. You probably don't teach the more advanced techniques to the little leaguers, but Babe Ruth used to catch balls with his teeth all the time. I still got him. <laughs> Maybe they'll learn in high school. I get up and dust myself off. River yawns. <laughs> hey, little buddy, you must be getting tired, huh? I hate to say it, but I should probably head out. Sorry things are so... You get older and life just gets in the way, huh? We start walking back to the parking lot. Hey, remember that one house party we went to that got broken up by a hey. helicopter? How could I forget you and me hopped over a concrete wall to get away? By the other side of the fence was a parking lot where a bunch of cops went past. Mm. Oh man, yeah. Could you imagine the look on our faces? We just walked straight past them like we were out for a stroll. And not knowing that we were at the party, they started joking with us about how big of a bust it was. We just talked with them for 30 minutes. You told them you were interested in enjoying hey. the enemy. And then they started giving me pointers for the exam. Longest 30 minutes of my life. Wow. Man. College. Oh. Good old days, right? Oh, he's sleeping. We get back to our cars. Craig pulls me into a hug. Or at least as much as we can manage with a baby. Mm -hmm. Never enough time, huh? Guess not. Oh. Let me make it up to you. Let's hang out soon, yeah? I'd like that. I don't know. I yawn as I walk through the door, spotting Amanda hunched over her collage glue stick in hand, burning the midnight hour. <laughs> Figured I might do something productive between episodes of Shark Hunter lip sync battles. Do the sharks lip sync or do the shark hunters lip sync? Huh. Yes. I look over her shoulder at the collage. Amanda, this is some good art. Look at this good art <laughs> you made. Thanks. I'm just about done. Like before, it's still a lot of dogs. And in one corner is a giant pile of cash. And the other, it's... Amanda, is that me? Mm -hmm. Yep. The whole thing is about my goals for the future. And those are basically just to sit on a 
giant pile of money with my 20 dogs and also have a strong and mutually supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. Oh! Oh, now you've done it. Get ready to watch your dad cry. Here it comes. It's happening. Ah. Oh, dad. You did this with your good art. She pats me on hmm. the back. Hey, how was your hang with Craig? Oh, I'm just here for my eye. It was good. That Craig guy sure is busy. <clears throat> yeah, dude, the softball life isn't for quitters. Also, I'm very proud of you for facing your fears today. How does it feel? I'm on top of the world, Pops. I should start facing my fears more often. Oh, yeah? How about tomorrow we hit some empty parking lots and practice, dare I say, parallel parking? Huh. Baby steps, Dad. I'll work my way up to it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hit the hay. Take care of late night television for me, all right? I'll let them know you said hey. <laughs> Go your own vegetables. It's cheaper, I think. I think. I don't know for sure. Day's complete. I don't know what any of it means, but that's cool. Bro, that was awesome. Hey, we got an A date with Craig. Maybe we should c keep dating Craig. Okay. Eat a lot of broccoli. I do. Okay. So, with that date with Craig over, that will be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!